What about their half season awards? Player of the year so far. Looks like this. Well. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's the top goal scorer. He's got the most yeah. assists. I mean, listen, I think we've said, uh, a lot of people have said this season, Salah's been the best player in the world or in the top two or three. You know, you can go through other leagues and maybe make cases for other, other players in different leagues. Maybe, uh, you know, Mbappe. I think Benzema's been brilliant for Real Madrid. But for me, I think he's been the standout player in... in I mean, world, world football this season, it, it almost feels like it, it could be a season where he, his first season where he, he just felt like he scored or assisted a goal every game, got, I think, over 40 goals that season. And, uh, yeah, he's, he, he's a special, special player. And I think, I think Salah, hopefully he'll sign this contract. He'll definitely be here next season. Hopefully we get another two or three years out of him, not just for Liverpool, but for the Premier League. And I think at the end of his time, in the Premier League, I think Salah will go into that sort of legendary status in terms of Premier League. Would he get in a Premier League eleven? You know, you talk about Henri, Ronaldo, Shearer, Drogba. You know, those real legend Bear Camp, legendary players we've seen in the Premier League. I, th I think Salah, at the end of his career, I think is a great chance he would make a Premier League eleven all time. Rare agreement on the best player so far, and also on the best young player. You can explain this one, Gary. Yeah, just what I think, look, he doesn't play every single week for Manchester City, but he plays in the big matches that I've seen. And I think he's lit up those big matches, you know, games at Anfield, <clears throat> uh, Manchester United. Um, he's brilliant to watch. I know that he obviously in the last couple of weeks has had an issue, but I like that about him as well, that he's got an attitude, a personality, something about him that's a little bit, you know, he, he's not your sort of, he, he, you know, he's... He, He's got that, that streak in him that I think would, you would want in your team. You would want, I think, I think that his level of performances in big matches is unbelievable, really, for someone so young. Uh, we've had some late change as well around the <laughs> signing of the season. <laughs> so can I just do this one? Oh, so, Let me, uh, let's put this in context first. Yeah. We've both have gone for goalkeepers, which is interesting, yeah. but, but Gary's gone quite a long way from where his first choice yeah. was up until about 10 minutes ago, because it was Ronaldo. Yeah, it's been Ronaldo all day, and then at half time he decided, I'm changing, I've had enough. No, no, I, I love him no, to no, bits. I love him to bits. I think the actual, no, you don't love him enough to put no, him in. The signing of the season, to be honest with you, probably is Ronaldo in the sense of what he's brought to the Premier League. But the kid at Wolves, to be fair, I, I was, to be fair, flipping between them earlier on today. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, he's, he's, he's only seen 14 goals in 18 games. It was a struggle. Do you know something? Actually, there aren't, if you look at summer signings, who's been the best signing of the season? That was the biggest struggle for both of us, wasn't it? But no, it was, wasn't it? We didn't know what, what yeah. to say. Because actually, if you look at both, you know, all the teams, like Grealish hasn't quite settled in at City and you're looking at other players that have gone to other clubs and you're thinking, Fran hasn't quite settled in at United yet. And Ronaldo, you know, he's done well, for, you know, 13 goals in 18 games, whatever it is, is unbelievable, but I expected that from him anyway. So, so, so the Wolves keeper's done better than Ronaldo? I think, no, the Wolves keeper, to be fair, has had a massive impact on their season. I think that at this moment in time, Manchester United is struggling, as you've said, underachieving almost. And <laughs> why Ramsdale? <laughs> I went for Ramsdale because it you was changed the biggest... as well. You weren't calling Conor Gallagher at one point. No, no, that was in my team. No, no, so rubbish. I went for uh, I went for him because it was almost the biggest surprise to me. I, I, when they brought him in, I thought they were bringing him in as backup and almost bringing him because he was an English player for the quota. I didn't think he hadn't been imp uh, impressed me and certainly uh, his Premier League time at Sheffield United and Bournemouth. And it's not just the saves he's made; he's a personality, he's a character, and I think. All ready to go into a dressing room at Arsenal. Yeah, there's young players in there, but it's still a huge club going into Arsenal. There's a young lad, a goalkeeper, and I just think he's got a presence about him that I, I didn't see that he had, and I think he's had a big impact on the team. I threw this uh, category in as well on, on the coach of the year, thinking we'd get some variety and maybe someone from lower down the league, <laughs> <laughs> and we get total agreement on Pep Guardiola, Gary White. Um, just a mesmerising coaching performance. No centre forward. No signing in the summer that, to be fair, like they wanted up front. Losing Aguero, I think to do what he's doing, uh, well, he spent a lot of money, Let's get me, don't get me wrong, but his level of consistency, his win record, the quality of football is, is out of this world, really. He, he, someone, someone like him has to leave the league to fully be appreciated. I know he is appreciated and we all sort of understand what we're watching. He's a great coach. But I think when he leaves, you truly recognise how great he really is because he's absolutely outstanding. The, you know, him and Jurgen Klopp, to be fair, are absolutely out of this world in terms of managers. They're both at such a high level. You couldn't really... Liverpool could win the league. The reason I've not gone for Liverpool to win the league is just because I think they're, so fi they're more finely tuned than City. If they lost Salah, if they lost Van Dijk, the drop would be probably quite big. So if Liverpool kept all the players fit, Jurgen Klopp could be coach of the year at the end of this year. He really could. 
But Pep Guardiola, at this point, just for what he's done so far, I think takes it. The six points clear and uh, chasing a sixth Premier League title. You wouldn't back against them from here, would you?